Hey everyone, it's uh, Dylan with uh, Theme Parks and Recreation for my very first vlog. Um, I'm sitting outside of Universal Studios as you can tell. Ta da! Um, I just got my annual pass for the first time in, God, I want to say 10 years I haven't been to these parks, if not longer. But, like before the Spider Man revamp, like I remember riding the original one. Now, I've already done some stuff over at Islands of Adventures. Unfortunately, a lot of the audio isn't really usable because of copyrighted music and stuff like that. But uh, that's that's kind of the nature of the beast. Um, we got to go on Hagrid's, which was amazing. Um, being by yourself and walking on, I didn't even ask for a row. I got front seat, which was just magical. You know, the fact that, hey, it's your first time back in a long time, and here you go, front row. Um, it just blew my mind, it was amazing. Uh, after that, we went and rode Kong, because I haven't gotten to ride Kong yet. Um, and it was fun, it was cute. I mean, originally Kong was supposed to be for the tram tour over in California, which means it's part of a bigger section of rides, but for what it is, it's not bad. It's just a little simulator. Um, from what I can hear, we're talking with people, it's always, like, each screen has something you always notice that you didn't previously. Like if you watch the left screen most of the time, when you go and right, watch the right screen and then depending on like where the action is, the other screen still has stuff going on. Like if you're just following around Kong, you'll apparently miss a lot of stuff. And th that's what I did the first time is I followed Kong. And the giant Kong animatronic was just mind blowing. Supposedly they took the time to sculpt like the pores of that animatronic. Like that's how detailed that is. Um, and then after that, I went on a, a hunt for a quick snack because I, I do suffer from uh, easy hunger headaches and stuff like that. So uh, I was looking around and ended up finding a pizza place uh, over in Marble Superhero Island, but I didn't go there first. I actually rode the river ride and that was pretty neat. They let you actually take off your masks, which I was surprised on that. Uh, most of these rides were like 10 minutes waits except for Hagrid's. Hagrid's uh, was still like 65 minutes, which was not bad from what I hear. Like uh, I'll keep an eye on it and as, as we talk I'll, I'll probably be like, yeah, it was two hours. <laughs> um, but beyond that, I'm at a point right now where I'm just kind of walking around. Um, I'm going to go hit up the studios and probably do the Harry Potter stuff there. Um, yeah, it, it's been a blast. I absolutely adore it. I'm so happy I got my pass. I'm so happy I'm going to be sharing all of this with you and going through all the, the new experiences and everything. So I uh, just did one of the haunted houses with did the uh, ride and it was okay. Um, made me jump a couple times. I did a pretty good job. While waiting in line, which was really neat, we actually got to see cast change. And because they don't have like as much of the back infrastructure as they normally do, uh, the cast has to go out kind of in front of the line. So all the scare actors were wearing these like giant black hoods that you know covered down, but they can only cover so much if the person's got like huge hair, or, like a prosthetic mask or whatever. It was actually pretty neat. Um, there was a really cohesive plot, which I like. You know, there was a, a story going on, uh, really loud behind me probably because of the roller coaster. I'm literally at the you rest area, kind of resting my knees and everything. But uh, after this, I think I'm gonna probably swing into the tribute store, uh, which is in my direction off to my left to your direction I guess off to the right um, but yeah it, it, was, it was a lot of fun um, I'm gonna be here a couple more times before all this stuff gets packed up and put away so I'll probably do tooth fairies another day uh, wait times are only like five minutes they're, they're not bad um, you know that's a really nice day the crowds are a little packed but everyone's kind of doing a good job with social distancing it's not like uh, you know back to back in a sense uh, most people are pretty good on it. I've only had one group where I've said, hey, can, can you make sure you, you stay on your line? Uh, but that was really close to like the beginning of the ride, so they're probably just excited, you know, you can't really blame them. Uh, never attribute to malice, but you can attribute to stupidity <laughs> or excitement in this case. Um, but it was a lot of fun. And, and honestly, I, Universal is just amazing. The theming, the rides, it, it was, there's not much like it out there, which is great. I mean. There's other parks that have their own thing, but I want to say Universal probably does theming the best when it comes to like the lines and the queue and, and they get you a height for it when you're about to like get into a ride. Um, that looks not a lot of others I think can replicate. But yeah, the pandemic going on 
it really makes me miss what Horror Nights could have been. Like, uh, I know there's different rooms in the Tribute Store, and I probably won't talk about that because it would probably be super loud in there. But um, one of them's Beetlejuice. That could have been a house. I mean, most of the stuff is probably taken from the Beetlejuice house. Let's, let's not, you know, get ourselves here. That was to be, but I love Beetlejuice. So it would have been amazing to have to go to a Beetlejuice house. Especially if they do like a whole um, dinner party scene, that would be great. But it, uh, it's, with, with the plague, you know, the, the condition going on right now, it's just a shame to see how everything's kind of sh a shell of itself. I mean, it's still fun, don't get me wrong, and I'm still taking it safe, uh, sanitizing every chance I get and keeping my mask on, but I mean, there's always that risk. But it looks like they're doing their best to mitigate that risk, which I really appreciate. So I'm gonna go see what I can do for a drink, maybe. Might hit up another ride. Uh, directly behind us is Transformers. I might go see what the wait time is for that. Didn't look too bad last time I checked, like 30, 35, and it's one of my favorite rides, just like Spider-Man, which I got to ride again before I left uh, IOA, and it was a blast. Like, the Stanley cameos are great. They didn't change the voice lines, they just kind of updated the CGI um, since the last time I rode it. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, when I heard Stan's voice at the end, like, at the end of the ride, congratulating you and everything, I, I almost cried. Like, that man meant so much to me, and to hear him again, out of nowhere and just wasn't expecting that. It, it almost broke me. Um, <laughs> but it was it was great. It was great to, to see him and to hear him. Um, I'm a huge nerd, obviously, so there's that. All right, well, I'll check back in with you in a bit.
Okay. Um, ending to the very first day back at Universal, and I'll say it was a blast. Um, I went back to the studios. I didn't ride too much after the uh, haunted house. Uh, I think I got a drink, I relaxed a little bit, put in a little montage of that. It's actually starting to uh, drizzle lightly here. Um, and then I went road ET. I haven't ridden it forever. You can tell that ride starting to show its age. Same thing with like Jurassic Park or Rare Adventure. Uh, you can tell that that ride needs like a total rehaul. Some of the skins are starting to like get pretty cruddy in areas on the dinosaurs, but with ET, like the track squeaked down. Um, I forget where I saw it, but somebody had once said that they need to take the whole kids area over in the studios and just retheme it to fucking. Restarting in three, two, one. Okay, uh, it's the end of the day. <laughs> I didn't do too much after the haunted house. I kind of just walked around and took in the sights. Uh, went into a couple stores. There's that store right in front of Transformers that sells some pretty interesting merchandise. And uh, I saw the scarecrows, or the first scarecrow. I didn't start the hunt. I'll probably do that on my next trip later this week. I'll uh, do the scarecrow hunt. Uh, didn't ride too much. I went and looked around Harry Potter. The wait for Green Gods was a little too longer than I'd like to do. And th there's always another time, you know. I can always come back and ride it next time. Um, theming is just amazing. You just get so immersed in that area. Um, and then I went and rode ET, just because it was a, a favorite. The ride is definitely showing its age. Um, the, tra the, crack the track literally squeaks at points. It's pretty ridiculous. Uh, same thing with, I noticed on the river adventure is that the dinosaurs, their skins are starting to get kind of bad. I think that whole ride just needs a facelift. Um, because they, we don't have another version of it, I want to say, anywhere else, they're probably going to keep it, I would say, because California's got the revamp. Um, same thing with E.T. I think there's some sort of contractual obligation that at least one Universal Park has to have an E.T. ride, so we'll always have it here in Orlando, um, which is cool. I mean, it's a classic ride. I don't mind it. Um, I ended the day with uh, a little trip to Voodoo Donuts. I'll show them in a bit. Uh, people keep saying that they must have, so I went with a couple of the basic ones. I got like the chocolate ring, and then I got the um, what looks like a Boston cream or something like that. I'll probably try some other ones later, like I do want to try the annual pass holders, and these things are huge. I did not expect them to be this big, but it's the first of many things, you know, back in theme parks. I haven't been, like I said, in ages, eh, forever, and I'm just so glad to be back at Universal, and pretty soon Disney too. I might do SeaWorlds and stuff, we'll find out, but anyways, let me show you these donuts, and then I'm going to dig in, and, uh, and then I'm going to go home, because <laughs> it's been a long day. I think I've been here for six hours. It's, I'm tired, <laughs> if I don't look it. All right, let's go look at these donuts. So these are the two donuts I got. Like I said, I went very classic. Uh, at least I think it's classic. Once you take a bite at them, I might be like pleasantly surprised. I know this one's cream filled. Hopefully it's nothing that, you know, shocks me. And that looks like a good old fashioned, just chocolate cream. Um, they look delicious. They look very, very yummy, especially when I've got almost an empty stomach. When all you've had is, uh, you know, cheap pizza from a Fantastic Four place, uh, large carbon takes look delicious. So I'll let you know how these go and uh, then wrap up the rest of the day. So the donuts were really good. Um, totally worth the price. It's like five bucks, huge donuts. Totally get what you pay for. Uh, it was right, the other one was a Boston cream, and the other one was just like a standard chocolate glaze. Uh, total carb overload. Uh, would recommend. Next time I'll probably try some of the more adventurous flavors, like the, um, the annual pass holder donut I know I want to try. But uh, today was a lot of fun. Uh, I've ridden a lot of stuff that I haven't ridden in a long time, some new stuff. I can't wait to ride the rest of it, get caught up so I can start keeping you all caught up. Um, but phenomenal day. I love Universal. And what do you love about it? Uh, what's your favorite ride? Why do you keep coming back? Just, you know, comment down below. Uh, if you like what you saw today, give me a like, uh, subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications if you want to see my dumb face. <laughs> uh, hopefully I can make a gig out of this, you know, it's tons of fun. I would love to wake up every day at my job, go show you what's going down on the theme parks. It would be phenomenal.
But uh, I had a great day, and I hope you all had a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.